Not a guess. Lend me your ears. Long as our Fevremon suffered without a true monarch to guide her and her people. Decades have passed since last His Majesty Erlan sat atop the Draken throne. Long have we endured, yet it has not been for naught. At last, the bell has tolled on the age of the Consul. At last, we may celebrate the coming of our rightful ruler. The return of the Sovereign. <laughs> My word! Such an inspiring visage! Your Majesty shall have my eternal fealty. No Your Majesty, of how long I have awaited this moment. It's the rightful inheritor of the Dragon Throne, chosen by the Dragon as its enemy. Behold and rejoice! Fortune has delivered us our savior at last! At last! Praise be, for only the Sovereign's guidance can lead us true. All hail the Sovereign! All hail! Let all present pledge their allegiance to the Sovereign. Let us be united in the hope that our legions reign will near end. Long live the Sovereign of Vermont! Long live the Sovereign! Arisen, thou who wouldst slay the dragon, if thou seekest to behold this world in its true aspect, abandon thy reason. Cast aside thine heart and thy life both. I ask thee to demonstrate thy will, for naught but thine ambition can alter the course of the rivers of fate. Which one of you was it? No need to be shy. I've just got to take down a record of your name and face. Come on, step forward. I ill like that look in your eyes. Tis queerly brazen for a pawn. Most of your kind have eyes blank as a cadaver's. Mayhap tis only natural seeing as how you rise from the dead. There's aught different about you, though. Could it be that you fear death just as we mortals do? Worry not, vessel. Three days here, and come along, you feckless dullards. Have a heart, cuz. Help me out here. Would you take pity on me, sir? any tidings to share is there aught you require pray sir have you aught to spare pray do as he says and get in line 
It is for your own good I say this. You do not want to invoke the old... Pray, sir, have you aught to spare? Job well done. Now the next step is to... What is this commotion? Survive a fall from this height. Not even a pawn.
Keep your distance, or is it? Worry not for me. The brine may swallow me whole, but I will not perish. There is a stone not far from here, known as a rift stone. Pray, seek it out. If you're truly the Arisen, then our paths will surely cross again. Oi! Are you all right? What's happened here? A griffin appears one moment and falls the next. And now you stand before me. Was it you, then? The one who was riding on its back? It is a wonder you survived. Accompany me to the stronghold. We'll treat your wounds and hear your story. Welcome, Arisen. We pawns have long awaited your arrival. What is this? Pawns? They bend the knee to you so readily, but then... No. Surely you cannot be the Arisen. You seek the Riftstone, do you not? We can take you to it. Pray. Come this way. Before you stands a Riftstone. It is a gate by which we of the Pawn Legion may cross Ur into this world. Pray, summon your pawn. Simply paint with your mind's eye the loyal attendant whom you would have serve you. This world is connected to innumerable other realms beyond the rift, which pawns, such as myself, are able to traverse. My kind is duty-bound to serve you, Arisen, and to use the knowledge we glean in these distant worlds to your benefit. I myself look forward to traveling alongside you and using my experiences beyond the rift to enrich your adventures. Well, I'll be a pawn summoning before my very eyes. You truly are the Arisen, then. Strange. I thought the Arisen was in the... Surely there's only meant to be one Arisen. Fie, this is all beyond my ken. The Watchhead would know what to do, I'm sure. Though, as luck would have it, he's away. I suppose we'll save any further questions till the Watchhead returns. You're free to do as you like afore then. What? You've no memories, you say? Mayhap you could make for Melv, then was set upon by the dragon not long ago. The Arisen is said to bear some deep connection to the dragon. Should you be Arisen... What is it? Got a question about my training regime? Suppose that was an unlikely guess. None took to the training like you did. Open to enlist, then? No. I'd hoped to add you to our ranks. You'd seem like you'd be fit for battle, even if I were to call upon you on the morrow. Which is more than I can say for the rest. Apologies for assuming. We've had fewer folks looking to enlist. Many keep their distance on account of the instructor being a beastrum. How very Vermundian of At the very least, I'd like to provide some decent training to the sub- Easier said than done. Especially when the weapons we were promised have yet to arrive. It isn't like a bit what I wouldn't give for some decent weapons and a soldier to act as an example. Someone with motivation may help you could aid us. I know tis much to ask of anyone, let alone a stranger, but 
What else am I to do? Much appreciated. That is most unfortunate, but it doth not release thee from thy fate. Can you hear me, sir? Sir, stay with me. Thank goodness. How are you feeling? This is the second time I've watched over you like this, isn't it? Pray, save your thanks. Tis only just that I should aid you in turn. After all, tis only by your courage that I live today. Had you not leapt between me and that dragon? I know you suffered for it. Such ghastly wounds. And I could not hear your heart beating. It was arisen. I'm afraid I don't understand your meaning. Does it have aught to do with why you were taken to the castle? They said twas so that your wounds could be treated, though I...
has he come for you? We are to part so soon, then. Mayhap you will visit me again someday. Till then, take care. Everson. Ah, excellent. You must be the one. You match my soldier's description. I'm glad I found you. The ruler of Vermont, currently convalescing in the capital, became arisen here in this very village. If you claim the same, then word must be borne to the capital. I dispatched a missive before coming here, though I doubt the matter can be settled without. Would you be willing to accompany me to the capital? If you... Oh, but forgive me. I scattered my soldiers in a bid to find you. I would not depart without them. We shall have to wait. Come to think of it, Sir Leonard was asking after you as well. Mayhap now would be a good time to speak with him. Last I saw, he... Well met. You're the one who saved Ulrika's life, aren't you? She told me all about it. It was a very bra... I'm in your debt. Ulrika's as good as my daughter. Here, consider this a small token of my gratitude. Now, tell me, are you registered? Perhaps you already know this, but registering with a guild will grant you access to specialized training. Well, now, that won't do. You need only speak with the innkeeper to register. Go on, it will only take a... If there is aught you wish to know of vacations, mayhap I can advise you. It is a vacation for those who seek to master the dagger. Such blades, thieves favor light armor which their talents depend upon their finesse and ability to compensate for the length of their blade through sheer... Very well. There is no wrong choice. But I shan't take up any more of you. Make haste, then. We must leave anon. Good. Then let's... Hold here a moment. I shall bid them open the gate. Who's that you've brought with you, Watchhead, sir? An arisen, by all appearances. An arisen? Another pretender, you mean? I see the Sovereign's ascension has done little to stop such charlatans from plying their trade. Tis uncertain. This one commands the loyalty of the pawns. What? Impossible. You know as well as I do that there can be but one arisen, and he's up. I'm well aware of how preposterous the idea is, thank you. However, as I do not believe it my place to rule on such a matter, I would make my report to the capital. If the claim is false, we will be rewarded handsomely for our trouble. If the claim is true, however, who can say? All's been arranged. Come, let us pass through the gate. Is everyone all right? More marks of the dragon's fury. Its rampage must have weakened the earth here. What's this? We're trapped! Aye! The Cyclops! To think we'd encounter one hit- You have my gratitude, sir. It would seem I misjudged you. I had taken you for another force arisen. Goodness knows we see a lot of them. Yet the valley you showed in coming to our aid has dispelled such thoughts. Give it to one of the sentinels stationed at the gates to the capital, and you'll be gr You're free to make your own way to the capital now. I see no need to keep you under constant watch, and I'm sure you'll breathe a little easier as well, I. Of course, if you'd rather continue to accompany us, you are still welcome to join us on...
I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Then you have truly lost your memory? In that case, mayhap I ought to explain the situation before we proceed. You, and no other, are the Sovereign the only legitimate ruler of this kingdom. Some days passed, you confronted the dragon in the village of Melv, whereupon you became arisen. The people rejoiced, for our true liege had finally appeared, and in Vermont's long years of council rule. Yet, not all celebrated your... Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous consul, she acted as a queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place, word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity. The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds, in order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead, a mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Many thanks. I'll catch that wretch yet. You're a kind one, aren't you? It would seem I am in your debt. In fact, there's aught I would ask of you if you've the time to spare. Aha! There you are! Oh, apologies, but our chat will have to wait. Till next we meet. Farewell. Say, you've got a decent arm on you. No need to be humble. Just the other day, I watched you fell a massive monster with my own two eyes. I've never seen the like. Pray, sir. Teach me I'm after an instructor, see, but the ones in this city are cravens all. The sort that decided to teach to avoid the battlefield. If I'm to grow stronger, I need to learn from someone who's seen actual battle. A real warrior, such as yourself. Won't you give me a chance? And this Baron fellow, I suppose you wouldn't recommend him if he wasn't. And after all, many thanks, sir. Me thinks... Um, 
Yeah, I, I possess no ill intent, I, I assure you. Uh, I merely wished for a close... Uh, those of other races differ so in design from our own, you see. I cannot deny... That's all it is, mind. Uh, curiosity. And even if I did, it isn't as if I could purchase one. It would be unseen, no matter how they fascinate me. Bows do so intrigue me. But I shall admire them from... You would simply give this to me? Oh, that is most generous. I would gladly accept it. Uh, you have my gratitude. Fascinating. Tis not dissimilar from an elven bow in make, such as this bowstring. It looks quite the same, but the tension is altogether different. Why do you stare? Perhaps you find it absurd that I should... I suppose I sought inspiration, for I, I confess I find myself rather lost. My The timing could not be more unwelcome, as my skill with a bow... Forgive me. I should not expect you to know of our ways. Every elf undergoes this trial when they reach maturity. Till we succeed, we are not considered... I have been training most diligently. Indeed, I fear my aim as a... I grew so vexed with myself that I sought to learn a foreign form of archery rather than thanks to you. I now have the means to do so. Though I dare say I shan't... It might be just what I need to find my aim. Please, sir. Many thanks. But this is no place to practice. Would you be... That's where I train, you see. I'll be able to concentrate on your display of bowmanship much better there. I do hope you'll join me. For now, I shall bid you farewell. As I informed you when last we spoke, the palace is filled with the Queen Regent's sycophants. Should Deesa denounce your majesty as a false arisen, Few would allow. Yet if we are to prove your identity, I believe there is no occasion. It was delayed so that the Sovereign, that is, the False Arisen, could convalesce in the palace. The central players in the court ought all be in attendance. It would be a fine opportunity to display your Majesty's... None would be able to deny that you are the true Arisen then. Only select members of the nobility and citizens who have contributed greatly to Vermont's continued prosperity. If your Majesty is to be counted among them, you will need to attend to a number of tasks. Pray, allow me to summarize them for you. The citizenry have called upon my soldiers to cull monsters that plague the land. I dare say, what say you? Might I, uh, I thank you. The first is Trevo Mine, to the northwest. Next is Half Village, west of finally. There is a call for someone to locate a There is much we ought to attend to. If we are to strengthen you, you will need to infiltrate the palace to gather evidence of Deez's misdeeds. I, has, I have attempted to do the same through my own channels before now. Would that I could undertake the task myself. What say you, Your Majesty? I shall ensure that the door to the Queen Regent's office is open between midnight and dawn. Pray. There is much we ought to attend to. Of all those who serve the Queen Regent, there is but one. I refer to Waldar. Many a time as Deza demanded Waldor amend the code of- And many a time as the Magistrate refused her. For he is loyal to none but the spirit of the law. Our laws dictate that your Majesty- Thus, as the staunchest supporter of the law known to the palace, I'm quite confident that Waldor- What say you? Might you be- I've prepared a means for you to enter the palace. This mission demands the utmost secrecy. Should you be discovered, I- That's it! I've had enough! Clear off! And don't come back till you're ready to do business properly! But I've got the coin! I swear it! I simply... just... Where is it then, eh? Bring the coin! All of it! Or I'll call the Sentinels on you! Again! Are we... The lad seemed rather ignorant of the world. Hasn't had anyone to show him the proper way. Oh! Tis you! You're a welcome sight. Forgive my boldness. But I've... would you be willing to lend me some gold? I swear you'll be repaid in full. A trinket in yon shop caught my eye. A small, ornate box of... Ex Alas, twould seem I do not have... I can certainly procure the gold later, but by then, if you'd be kind enough to lend me the... Well met, sir. 
How might I be of service? Business could be better, but I'm scraping by. Do come again. Yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or a trinket in yon shop caught my eye? Alas, twould seem I'd... I can certain... If you'd be kind enough to lend me... Yes? Is there aught I can do for you? Or could it be that you've reconsidered my request? You... You bought it for me. Thank you. I'll treasure this. You're a kind soul. Pray, let me return the favor someday. We meet again. Truth be told, I... Would you care to stay and talk a moment? I'm glad. Sit down. I'm rather fond of this place. I never imagined a city could be like this. So full of excitement, so... And how could I have? In all my life, I've hardly left the palace. My mother is quite... strict. You understand. Oft did I long for a taste of normal life. Even aught as simple as going shopping for myself. My mother has always procured the things I covet for me, so to pick out an item and obtain it with my own... Of course, in the end, you were the one who made the purchase. That's all right. I know you meant well. Besides, I can safely say it was still a novel experience. I wanted to give you something in return by way of that. My apologies, friend, but I'd best be going. I mustn't let Mother find out. Thank you for indulging me. I do hope we'll see each other anon. Till then. Hoi. Faring well, I ha Would you care to join me? I'd not say no. I was hoping you'd say that. Do you know, I had a feeling we'd meet. Say, you're not from round here, are you? Are you a traveler? Have you seen many places? How I envy you. I long to learn more of... She's always telling me how dangerous it is beyond the palace walks. But that only makes... After all, if the world truly is so perilous, what are the lives of our people? They must be fraught with uncertainty, subject to harsh conditions. It seems unfair that I alone should be... But listen to me waffling on. Ah! I almost forgot. My apologies, friend. But I'd best be going. Thank you for indulging me. I, I do hope we'll see each other anon. Well met. Have you any weapons for me? Good of you to go to the trouble. Many thanks. We'll gladly make use. I've you to thank for that new The lad's well eager, he is. He fears naught, and he follows soldiers like him, boost the morale of all around them. His presence bodes well. There's just one problem. Seeing a lad so spirited, so foolhardy, sets my blood to boiling, you see. Makes me need I explain further. What say you? Get a spark. Glad to hear it. Think of it like a game. Whoever steps out first, loses. Simple enough, eh? You're a warrior as well, aren't you? Well, let's begin. Fight what? Yoyin's stronger than I'd anticipated. I dare say I needed that. You've my thanks. I've ne'er met anyone like you. You've done more for me this past while than anyone I've known as heir trouble to. A commendable sort you are. 
Would that I had some way to repay you for all the good you- Sir Baron, you must come, and quickly! A goblin pack has descended over by the rope bridge. We're in need of- My thanks for the report. Goblins can be dastardly. We'll have need of capable fighters. The more, the better. I'd fain have you up my side. Randall! What happened? Speak to me, lad! Sir, we managed to fell the goblins, but then a cyclops charged us out of nowhere. We, we stuck the beast with arrows till one of them pierced its eye. It fled. Never yeah, mind that, lad. You survived, and that's what counts. Let's get you back to the encampment, aye? Right? It would seem my days of peace are at an end. Do you recall the soldier we met on the road? He was wrong. They'll want me to take responsibility for that. I just know it. Shan't be long before I'm forced to resign from my post. I doubt such a thing would be asked of any human instructor. There's no fighting it. But I'll be damned if I let the troops suffer on my account. In the time that remains to me, I'll get them trained up as best I... Well met. You couldn't have come at a better time. Word of my dismissal arrived. Would seem my time here has reached its end. Can't say I'm happy about it. And if you'll remember, it is where you and I first spoke. Going, are you? Be Sir! A Cyclops is coming! Oi oh, there! Impeccable timing as always. I was just wondering if I'd get to see you one more time before I departed. And here you are. You've done much on my behalf, tis true. I can't... If this ordeal has taught me anything, tis to have faith in my ability as an instructor. That's why I'm headed for the checkpoint rest town, Owen Batal. See, I have a friend who emigrated there, who happens to be in need of an instructor. And I figured if I'm being ousted anyhow, might as well go. Even if it means serving under different banners, at least I'll still be helping soldiers come home, and in one piece. Suppose this is where we part, and may the sun shine brightly on whatever road you're traveling. Hoi, friend! Have there any time for me today? There's something I've come to understand during my stolen hours exploring these streets. Every last resident in this city is wholeheartedly devoted to living out their lives. It seems a simple observation, I know, but to me, for it made me painfully aware of my own position. Can this existence of mine even be called living when I am so doted upon by my mother? I want to live a life I can proudly call my own, and to achieve it with all that my heart desires. I tire of enduring my mother's coddling, and of having to mind every twitch in her face in order to appease her. Looking at this box, tis proof that I am not my mother's servant to be willed about as she pleases. It is something I obtained of my own will. Though it came to me through you, of course. Pray, take this with my thanks. It is quite a rarity, as I hear it. Now, I'd best be off. I may not be able to wander the city again for some time. Thus, I cannot say when next we'll... Though, I feel sure we shall in time. Uh, perhaps sooner than we might think. <laughs> Till then... You there! Are you looking to enter the village? You best go elsewhere, friend. What's wrong about this place? There's no business to be had here, that's for sure. You made it after all. Guess that means I win. Oi, you lot best pay up. Dear me.
You didn't disappoint, did you? You've done well. Seems only fair I answer it. What can I say? Not many people bother with this place. Luckily for me, you were different. Knew I was right to bet in favor of the Arisen. Anyway, most visitors get fooled into going up to the manor. We send them packing with a trifle, and if they don't question it, good riddance. Anyone that complacent has got no business being a thief. We only train the rare few who make it here. Some might go so far as to say that the entire village was built around this. That all you wanted to ask? Aye. Till next. Now, as to the Maester's teaching, not sure you'll be able to. Oh! True to your word, you have come. Let us begin at once. Um, I, I should like to observe your form first and foremost. Uh, uh, my gratitude. I learned much from you just now. In fact, I have made a discovery. Unlike those of Elven make, those crafted by other races are designed for keen aim. Is that not so? But I can see this is no revelation for you. I Not so for those of Elven make, however. Our bows are craft. Mayhap you will find the sentiment strange, but we are taught that arrows loosed with proper form will strike true. As if tis all I admit, I find it rather baffling myself. Yet with this bow, I begin to understand. Huzzah! What a feat! I can hardly believe it. Every life this marvel is, is nothing at all like an elven bow. The design allows for E to think that I should I should feel such a difference. Mayhap I am more suited to a bow of foreign make than one of my own people's. It is a strange thought. But how else to explain it? My arrow I'd nearly given up on myself. Yet to my performance of this bow has divested me of such doubts. But the ingenuity of this design, it is all very well to talk of honing one's form. But why should we? I am decided. I, with this as my weapon, I have no doubt. I Hail, friend. How? Tis not long now ere I am to under. I thought it only right to tell you that. As you were. I was also rather hoping you would consider attending. Ah, but the path to the arbor is not easily found. Or f there is a log bridge near the ruins where I train. I'll await you on the other side. Come. Fear not. I'll think of something. El, alacarilm, nandeu in morteren ecialis, nun fir anandu Iselrod vane nun lia casinque erenon, li afendel alacarilm fionaro osto ur. Oh, but this one comments elvish. Impressive. I suppose I needn't summarize my conversation with Luamir just now. Now, come. The place the trial should be held is. The trial of archery shall be held here. I bid you wait just a moment, uh, while I... I've just noticed. Where are all the custodians? They ne'er leave their posts. Could it be all... Nenwen mor aiwanon. Alkarwa fir nun eldaya. Martyr fa nun fionor. Minas vena eralote. Alkarwa fir nun eldaya. Menelume surka. No. Darren? I cannot stand idly by while my sister is in peril. My friend, if e'er I have had need to call upon your aid, there is no time. I shall mark the location of the... Make haste. Her lo You're here, and not a moment too soon. We must find my sister and save her from the ogre's... Veninume, mor martyr teel adaka kiriandio. Tayel ni sil arin fel. Nun mori vin we alcarwa menelume. Nando in fa echialis, pelinol wende, sinde, soron, aele, alvekil. Moriven fendel nar itarondo vani. Falis tulia fuenenumen, osto taralia os. Arbahat, preserve me. Tis e'en more nightmarish a sight than I had feared. 
My father battles the ogre while my sister is clutched in his fist. But there is still hope if I act quickly. Listen well, friend. I shall, the moment the ogre relinquishes my sister, I have ne'er attempted to strike a target so distant before. Ian, the trial of archery does not demand such a feat. Yet, for the sake of my sister, my arrows must... Pray, keep Darren out of harm's way. Oh, my heart. There can be no gladder tidings in all... None of this would have been possible if you had not gifted me this bow. You are my sister's savior. Epeler, le affermor el dal... Findlenar. Karilm ilmen arcael. Skemenindor kanyan irils ardekar. Fionar elwe afarne nenwen sur orne. Epeler, le affermor el dalia eralope. Lungtena pele telume. Ane martir... Tindome ingarina fa alme al carua, nenwen mor aiwanon, arta hir curi, kiriando an mindor hiroth, arta hir curir, mor fa erando amanda kil, vanalin hiros sorom, sorne an fa meltor, nun casinke telpe nun finaler, lera ne fir heranon, anne arta her firnis. Majesty's claim, as a true arisen, you've done a fine job culling those monsters, Your Majesty. Tis common knowledge among the people that towards you who deliver the number of those who seek out this tavern in the hope of an audience with the arisen. Should you continue to display such valor, the day will soon come when these and ear it slips my mind. Pray. Have you come to release me from this jail? Who are the uh -huh. Then we are presented with three options. Either the law of our world that allows only, or Deezer's arisen is false, or you. Have you proof that you are arisen? Ah, they say the arisen's breast bears a wound akin to the dragon. By that mark, would seem to... This reminds me of a happening 148 years ago. During the reign of Regent Alphonse, a man named Crusoe appeared and claimed to be... He went before the people, insisting that he, and not Regent Alphonse, was the true arisen. And what befell him? Ha! Crusoe was discovered to be a liar. Where a... I... I dare say your arrival portends another beheading, but whose will it be? Hmm? Escape? Here, I spend my days perusing the code and deciphering old texts. I c and I need not turn my ear to Deezer's absurd demand. That said, if you know of a place with a mountain of tomes, I could tell me. Does that ring any bells? Oh, to think so. Guide me outside, then. If you can deliver me from this pit, I ought to... There is much we ought to tend to if we are to strengthen your majesty's claim as a true arisen. It seems Magistrate Wardour has been safely delivered from his cell. The man's dedication to justice shall doubtless be a great boon to our cause. Mayhap it would be prudent to visit the man on occasion and avail yourself of his vast stores of wisdom. He might have knowledge that could benefit. Now, would you be so kind as to return the key I lent you? I thank you. Pray. Take this. There is much we ought to tend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty's claim. While examining the palace ledger for evidence of the Queen Regent's misdeeds. For some time now, it seems, she has been diverting a veritable mountain of gold to the daily purchase of sweet crown flower. What's more? This inexpedient spending habit is recorded to have begun the very day on which Arthur, the would-be of this cannot be mere happenstance. I can only conclude, yet yeah, tis strange. For sweet crown flowers own, I dare say, twas not an item chosen idly. Mayhap this knowledge, tis a frail hope to be certain. Yet all the same, I would ask that your majesty venture to Vermont's eastern edge and probe into this young man's origin. I am glad to hear it. 
For I cannot shake the feeling that uncovering the identity of the false sovereign is the key to unraveling the false sovereign, your majesty. What's this? The palace of Vermund is sending brass to an individual by the name of Darrow. And brass is code for imitating. It is not unheard of for a member of the court to employ a decoy. Though in our case, it would seem far more likely that this Darrow fellow is none other than Arthur, the false sovereign. You have done well. I believe we can call... We've yet to get to the bottom of this. I cannot but feel that there's some grander plot at work here. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strength for some time now, to said that the false sovereign was recovering from his battle wounds. And so, in honor of his supposed valor, they have been holding the false sovereign's identity is still beyond our ken. Even the map may up approaching the false sovereign that one of these gatherings could afford you a- What say you, your majesty? My thanks. Some of the sentries posted at the masquerades are under my command. I shall have them ease security. So pray, once your infiltration is successful, you will need only don a mask and act the part of an invitee. Few will think to be wary. Here. Vicious, take care. You might- Ah. There is one other thing. Masquerades being as they are, you will require much is made of appearances at such gatherings, and twould be wisest to dress the part when joining. Well, now you're. What is it? Has something happened? Uh, we have it on good authority that a suspicious individual passed through here. We need to scale the area. I'll scale the right. In here. Open up. Open this door right now. We're coming in. Out of here. You're dressed rather austerely for a patron. My humblest apologies, Lady Wilhelmina. We've had reports of an unseemly character in the vicinity, you see, and... Preposterous. I was out front till but a moment ago, and I did not see so much as a shadow. Be that as it may. You are excused. Leave this place. Ere you invite our noble host's wrath upon yourself, I will summon you if aught is amiss. Pray forgive the intrusion. And what business have you here? In the noble's playground. Hmm? Huh? You've the face of someone in search of a juicy morsel. Would you be looking for this, perchance? Come on, then. Keep pouring. Do you take me for some green lad who can't handle his cups? I'm your damned king, and a king deserves royal treatment. <laughs> <laughs> of course, your majesty. Tell us, Your Majesty, would you prefer more drink, or shall we find some other way to amuse ourselves? Aye, <laughs> aye. Let's change things up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I believe I cautioned you to keep your drunken revelry in check, lest you forget these celebrations of your valor are but a pretense for more serious matters. I, I know. I do. It's just I get the poison in me and things happen is all. You need only serve as our false king until Sven becomes consul. Till then, however, you would do well to remember that your role demands a certain degree of dignity. I trust you understand your position, your majesty. Nay, I, I mean I. As you say, I'll, I'll go and sober up. Why not remove yours as well? This is not the masquerade hall. And we now find ourselves quite alone. 
What say we dispense with such pretenses and speak openly with one another? Lord Phasus. That will do. If you're discovered, yours won't be the only head that rolls. What is your purpose here, I wonder? If you came to learn of the Sovereign, then tis as you have seen. The man is not but a ale-swilling pretender propped up by the Queen Regent. Of course, that begs the question. If he's a mere mummer, then where might our true arisen be? You'd best go. I'll do what I can to help you make your escape. As you can see, I run an establishment that caters to certain... pleasures. You're welcome to come and play any time. If you escape with your life, that is. Know, however, that our services do not come cheap. If we... Well, well. He is merely Deesa's puppet, then. Tis likely that he knows naught of her schemes, even were he to be removed. I suspect... But if there is aught that compels my attention, tis this other man you mention. Phasus, was it? He seems a man of import, and yet, I have never heard of him. Pray, allow me to investigate this. My, my, I'm trapped like a rat in a cage. This arisen's both shrewd and fleet of foot. What, can't you think of a reason? Let's just say there are some who don't want... I was to report on your comings and goings, but I suppose that job's over. So, how about it, friend? Will you let me go? I've no reason to trouble you any further. Understandable. Still, no harm in asking what... Yourself. I am not to put out here our comrade burn. You there! Hold! Shit! We're in for it now! With all likelihood, he is an agent dispatched from Batal. Pray, let us handle the we will hear all he has to say before the week is out. I bid you. Well done, Master. By your efforts, our task is complete. Indeed. There is much we ought to tend to, if we are to strengthen your Majesty's claim. Ah, yes. Regarding your pursuer from... When he learnt of your Majesty's escape, he began inquiring after your movements. As to how he learned your Majesty's location with such ease, I shall be sure to inform you when I do. Pray. Take this. Who's there? Pray, keep your voice low. It wouldn't be good for either of us if someone was summoned to come check on me. Could it be that you have come to bring Mother's schemes to light? Aye, Deesa is my mother. Pray forgive me for not telling you sooner. It was never my intent to deceive you. I simply feared that if I spoke the truth, none would wish to involve themselves with me. That is no longer a concern. It is clear that we are allied in purpose. My word! You mean to say that you are the true Arisen? That the Sovereign currently residing in the palace is a pretender? Could Mother have had a hand in that as well? Regent Kin Sven appears to be missing from his chambers. Have you seen him? Me? No, sir. Then start searching, you fool. Should aught befall the Regent Kin, tis us who'll answer to her great. Forgive me. 
My absence seems to have made this rather more difficult for us. This room turned up little of interest, but I have a mind to look into this further. I shall send word to Captain. I'll head out first and speak with the Sentinels. Use that op- Suspicious to be found in the Queen Regent's office. This scrap. Twas part of a letter. And from Batal, no less. This alone can prove little, but tis clear that... To think... Deezer's actions have weighed even on the mo- Tis a surprise, but a welcome one. Deezer, if Regent King Sven is willing to aid us by drawing Deezer's focus, we may be able to gain here more useful information. You have done well, Your Majesty. Though I am limited. Queen Regent Deesa appears to be working in concert with this fate. A crime committed here will see one confined to jail. I've heard that jailers are paid a pittance, despite the hardships of their work. Then a bribe might avail us, should the time come. We shall remain here. I must ask you to comport yourself with the utmost civility while you are within the masquerade hall. You're far from your station, are you not? Here I can listen to some As a true, I bear word from Regent Ken Sven, Your Majesty. Yet a minister who happens to be one of the Queen Regent's staunchest and most powerful out from the pains he took to remain on scene. Tis plain that Allard wished this delivery kept away from prying eyes. That alone is reason to suspect a connection to Deezer's schemes. The Regent Kin intends to call Allard to his chambers come nightfall. He bids you to use this opportunity to search the minister's chambers and see if there's aught to be learned. I shall ensure that the door to the minister's chambers is open between midnight and dawn. There is much we ought to tend to. What business could be so pressing that I must be summoned at this late hour? I would not presume to know, my lord. However, it must be a highly sensitive matter for the Regent Kin to request a private audience. Oh, perhaps the boy has finally grown wise to the benefits my favor can bring. He might just be his mother's puppet, but at least he knows what's good for him. M my lord, if someone were to overhear... Oh, unring your hands, you fool! As if anyone in this palace would dare say a word against me. Now, if Wilhelmina calls, tell her to await me in my chambers. Surely none more important than this. I speak of the ascension of the Sovereign. Indeed. But that, your grace, would be better. Well, well. We meet again. Is this stealthy business becoming a habit of yours? Oi! Who? 
goes there? Who's there? Tut, tut. Now, this just won't do. How's a lady supposed to work with all these interruptions? Oh, it is you, Lady Wilhelmina. Mm hmm. Do excuse us. We thought to enjoy a little fresh air. Though we had hoped for slightly more privacy, if you catch my meaning. Apologies, my lady. But I ask the name of your companion? Are you sure it would be wise? Such knowledge has been known to cost a man his head. Ah, uh, understood, my lady. If anyone asks, I shall say I saw naught. Hmm. A narrow escape. You should count yourself lucky that he was so easily flustered. Is that all you have to say for you? It is sweet of you to mind your manners, but such niceties won't get you far with me. Something tells me this shan't be the last I see of you. Perhaps you'll be good enough to repay me when next we meet. As a true arisen, I know this sigil well. Tis the crest of the neighboring country of Batal, a land with which Vermin has no official dealings at present. Let me see. It reads, True to our word, we offer you the power of the Godsway. Pray make haste in securing Melv, that all might be made ready ere our plans are set in motion. A meager clue, to be certain. Though, tis clear that the Queen Regent conspires with Batal. This does not bode well at all. Though the political situation is stable at present, much blood has been spilt between Vermund and his neighbor in the past. I fear such a partnership would only portend the drawing of At any rate, to see our search has led us to only more questions. Chief among them, what is meant by securing Melv and this God's way? I will investigate these matters as best I can. In the interim, Your Majesty, should you have time to spare, might you make for Melv? Only once we have gleaned a fragment of the Queen Regent's plot, and ere it slips my mind, Pray, take this. Perchance it will help speed you on your way to Melv. Hail, friend! You've come at a- Have you heard aught of the masquerades being- Tis said they are in celebra- However, in truth, my mother is merely holding them, but therein lies our chance. For I suspect one among them might prove an allied- Might I ask you to infiltrate one of these masquerades and give him this letter? I imagine that's the most prudent way to go about this. You have my thanks. I would handle this matter myself, but I will speak with a sentinel I trust, and bid that he ease his patrol on the evening in question. Pray, Patrick will be wearing a mask without a mane, and uh, hopefully this information will be an- Come to think of it, there has been tell of some important figure from a neighboring country. I've not been told much, but... Any guest of my mother's is bound to be the mark of much attention. Mayhap t'would be best as you should be going now, friend. You're not- Many thanks. T'would seem my mother's tyranny has been weighing- He has pledged to continue our correspondence at- This would not have been possible without your assistance. I am afraid I- Have you given the matter some more thought, Wilhelmina? I would have no other as my personal courtesan. I want you all to myself. When I imagine you in the arms of another, my heart feels apt to rend itself from my breast. Allard, pray forgive me, but I think it would be best for you to leave. We can discuss this matter another time. But why? We've only just... I am attending to a burden that all women must bear. I trust I need not elaborate further. I did not take you for the voyeuristic type. Why don't you come in?
You have my thanks. Had I not noticed your presence, I might have slain him there and then. Tis no jest. You see, everything I've done these past few years has been leading up to this. I am here to kill him. But I cannot simply end his life. Oh no. I must first expose his misdeeds. Only then will I allow myself to grant him the miserable end. Or oh, so I'd sworn. But I've yet to find a single shred of evidence. Perhaps the time has come to surrender this crusade. You would lend me your aid. But I've done nary a thing to earn it. And recall that I've devoted years of my life to his pursuit, with naught to show for my troubles. If the proof I seek yet exists, I suppose there is truly naught I can do. Save deliver him a gruesome dim. Still, if you insist upon searching for three days, I shall wait patiently, though not with bait. So, I confess, I thought you might not. Well? Did you find what you were- Thank you. I can't believe you found it. All that remains is to end that- I've no other tasks for you, this- Unless you intend to see this through till the end. You're a curious one, aren't you? But what's just as curious is that I can't bring myself to refuse you. All right, if you're offering your aid, then I'll gladly accept it. Come with me. Allard is in the room to the left. Go in. Never mind the mask. Cons At last. It feels like an age has passed since... What is this? Who are you? Don't let him escape. Get your hands off me, you fiend! Don't you know who I am? Oh! You hang for this impudence! Oh, Allard. I've always wanted to see you like this. That voice. Wilhelmina. But why? Why would you? Do you still fail to recall? Even with this mask staring you in the face. But I suppose for a man such as you, a little murder here or there. It's hardly worth remembering. What mockery is this? Oh. In your youth, you slew two individuals. The merchant whom you served... ...and his wife. They had a child, as I am sure you are aware. A newborn babe who was spirited away by her loyal wet nurse. You mean to tell me you were their child? But how can this be? Your mother, she was a beastrum. Surely her child would be one as well. A fair assumption. But for better or worse, I didn't take after my mother. Save for in one respect. For my mother. And this is for my father. The time has come for all your sins to come to light, Allard. We've been noticed. I suppose a scream that hideous was bound to attract some attention. We can't leave the way we came in. Fortunately, 
There's a window here. I think it would be best for us to make our... Should we both make it out of this unfettered? Let us meet at the Myrmacolian on the morrow. Till then... Thank you. I finally achieved my purpose here, and I owe it all to you. It would seem the residents of the palace have chosen to treat Allard's untimely passing as an accident. I imagine they deemed it safer not to make a fuss of the incident after perusing the evidence you uncovered for me. Shrewd as a den of foxes. <laughs> I'll give them that. I truly cannot thank you enough, but I want to try. Just this once, I'll give you something special. I'll grant unto you the sweetest of dreams. I know not what I would do without you. You have my thanks, but it's time to say farewell for now. Just know that my bordelry will e'er be your haven, should you have need of it. Ere since the reign of Rathais, the founder of Vermund, the village of Malv has played an indispensable role in the defense of our kingdom against the dragon. Yet twice now, as the dragon set upon this village, inflicting numerous casualties, before being allowed to flee, the fault here lies with you, Ser Ulrika. You have failed in your duty as acting chief. With all due respect, Sir Martin, our village has dispatched many of its young hands to the northern stronghold since its completion. Was it not the former consul who decreed that the stronghold should serve to defend the kingdom? With Melv offering aid only where needed? Yet the stronghold has remained entirely silent to our plight. How can you say that the fault is ours to bear? I know of no such agreement. At the very least, Queen Regent Deesa has mentioned naught of the kind. But I'm quite sure the Consul... You would dare misrepresent the words of the dead? Or do you mean to imply that the Queen Regent has spoken falsely? If so, then Melv's problems ran far deeper than I had thought. Tis not indolence that has taken root here, but treason! The village entire will answer for this! What? I intended nothing of the sort! Pray, let us... Save your honeyed words! It was by your godly efforts that Melv escaped the worst of the dragon's assault. The people of this village are more precious to me than life itself. To lose them would have been the end of me. You have my earnest gratitude, friend. I wanted to tell you that, if naught else. Now, it is time we slept. There is much to be done for the village, and I shan't manage it without a good night's sleep. Where is Ulrika? The Queen Regent has declared that Ulrika be apprehended as a traitor to the kingdom. All who seek to abet her will be tried in turn. Bring her before- Ulrika is gone. What? She stole away in the dead of night. Ask around. Several witnesses can confirm it. I cannot say why for certain, but I imagine she took your words to heart, Overseer. Realizing her plans for rebellion had been found out, she chose to abandon the village for our sake. You would have me believe that Ulrika was acting alone? That the rest of the villagers harbor no rebellious intent? Aye, that's the long and short of it. Very well. I shall take you at your word, sir. However, the absence of a leader will sow naught but chaos. For the time being, your village will be in our hands. If tis as you say, I do not expect there will be any objections. Ah, there you are. There's aught I would ask of you. It concerns Ulrika. You've heard she fled the village. I, though that is the case, she would never truly abandon it. She left the village that she might fulfill her charge. 
protecting Vermont against the dragon. As for where she went, it would be unwise for me to go looking for her, lest I draw the eyes of the Overseer's troops. However, should you happen to find her, would you tell me where she is hiding? I can only pray that she does not fall into the Queen. To think I would meet you here, or were you searching for me? I cannot return to Mao. Not till my name is cleared. Not this village also suffered the dragon's attack in the past. I intend to stay here and pray. Give my regards to everyone back home. Tell them that I swear to return as soon as I can. I heard what transpired. Thank you for fighting on my people's behalf. You cannot imagine my relief when I beheld that everyone had made it out unharmed. Say, would you visit me again once night has fallen? There's aught I would show you. This is a strange thing. I ne'er knew how vast the sky was till I left Mel behind. Time and again you have come to my aid. Would that I could repay you in some way. Alas, there is little I have to offer. Yet, if your heart e'er aches for a place to call home, then may this village... No, not the village. If e'er you're in need of a hearth to return to, then let it be mine. There is much we ought to attend to. Or shall change once we... If your majesty has any unfinished business to attend to, very well. The coronation is to take place on the morrow. We shall depart early in the morn, so you... Turn to the tavern. False sovereign commanded the pawns at the coronation, proving his own powers arisen. According to Regent King Sven, the pretender was wearing some sort of lavish necklace at the time. I imagine this artifact is the godsway mentioned in that letter. A chance it is a tool that grants power akin to that of the true arisen. It would do much to explain the events that we have beheld afore now. Alas. Unless we find some way to unmake this Godsway's power, proving your majesty's legitimacy shall be difficult indeed. Allow me to speak to the agent we captured some days past. But there is much we ought to attend to. If we are to strengthen your majesty, if the information we pried from the agent is to be believed, there is a place in Batal devoted to the study of arts most queer. I believe it is worthy of investigation. Should fortune smile upon us, your majesty may even discover some method of undoing the godsway's hold over the pawns. Yet official dealings twixt Vermund and Vital are suspended, and tis no simple matter to gain passage through the latter's fortress. Fortunately for us, however, the agent was hiding this on his person. I bid you take it. Tis an entry permit, allowing passage through Batal's fortress. It even bears the crest of the Batali Palace. 
It must have been commissioned by... I doubt any would dare impede your passage with such an ice. There is one other thing, Your Majesty. An oracle who once served in the Vermondian court now resides in Batal. This oracle foretold the coming of the Arisen and was banished from the kingdom when, indeed, t'was by this same oracle's power that the agent in question came to know of your majesty's whereabouts. The oracle knows much of the Arisen. Should you make her acquaintance, she may be able to offer you aid during your infiltration. I heard from Captain... As for me, I've been looking into my mother's movements since last we met, and I happened upon this. Tis a letter she discarded. It seems to be addressed to someone called... I passed an eye over it, though I failed to grasp its meaning, or, or what compelled her to throw it away. Here, I thought it best that you have it. Mayhap you could glean aught from it that I could not. And if you do, would you be so kind as to share it with me? That is only if you have the time to spare. I am in no position to make demands, of course. No, oh, a letter, is it? Let's see here. But know that tonight the moon shall again be shrouded in a veil of gossamer clouds, awaiting the return of, well, well. I'd not put Deesa the capacity for such refinement. Tis a love letter, but one that draws on ancient symbolism to convey its message. The moon represents a... Put simply, what this letter means to communicate is... I miss you. Ha! <laughs> a surprisingly saccharine sentiment coming from the Queen Regent. Would you not agree? I know not who this Phasus is, though it is safe to say that Disa is rather invested in him. What concerns me is this godsway mentioned in the first line. If we can take this letter at its word, and twas indeed granted to the Queen Regent, we can surmise that it must be something as to what manner of object, however, I can only begin to guess. And I'm not one for pointless conjecture. I suspect someone of Batali heritage might be able to tell you more. Ah, you've returned. Oh, my spectacles. Well done, sir. With these, I shall have no need to fear any letters, be that I shall learn aught I can, that the day might come when I can repay this debt I owe you. Many, many thanks. A merchant, eh? Have you an entry permit? Hold a moment. That cart has priority. Lord Phasus is come! Open the gates! off him. Don't go thinking you can treat the poor however you like just because you're better off. Uh, calm down, Hugo. You've got it all wrong. This kind sir has been good enough to share some food with me. I've the both of you to thank for my good health and my full belly. Is that right? I suppose I owe you an apology then, cuz. In my defence, one can't be too careful. There's a child snatching scoundrel around nearly every corner in these parts. The name's Hugo, by the way. I'm a helper of sorts to the poor in Libya. Ain't many folk willing to offer that sort of kindness. Even just one more is a glad sight left, so pay me no mind. And I'm sorry for before. If you're here in trouble, I'd fain come to your aid. <laughs> You've a bit of a special place in my heart. This is for you. Listen, there's all I would speak of. I've dedicated my life to perfecting my abilities as a soldier, and the skills I've honed are my only pride. As such, 
There's no greater gift I can offer you than the best of my technique. You've proven yourself a loyal friend. Tis the least I can do. Take this, and may it aid you in your battles to come. So, after breaking free of the chains of slavery that once bound you to this land, you return of your own volition. This is good. I am relieved to see that you are fulfilling your charge. Now, it would be advantageous for you and your pawn to visit the Rockmaster's Borough in Bakhtatal. Methinks it is where you will find that which you see. Who... who are you? What would you with me? You're looking for the Coral Stun Ask Me. They were on us before I knew what was happening. Couldn't even guess where they... Come to think of it, twas as we passed the crags to the west of here that they all came out at once. I had a clear view of them from the back of the cart. That's all I know. I ran for my life. Only reason I thought I'd come back, see if aught was left. But you know what? I just remembered. There was a child traveling with us. First blood's always the sweetest. <sighs> you all right? Halt, I say! Who? Fight! I'll have you! Oi! Have you lost it? A child was hurt during today's raid. We don't hurt children. That's the rule. Don't tell me you forgot. Sorry. Must have slipped my mind. It's like that, is it? Huh? That what you're gonna tell Lenzo? He says we don't hurt kids. So you better... Hold it! Who's this, then? We've got an intruder. Oh. Coming here was the last mistake you'll ever make. Dad, you go! We're out of time, lad. We'll have to scarper. Come in, lad, Joe. Ah, but, uh, before I forget... <laughs> here you are. <laughs> <laughs> Time for you to make yourself useful. This isn't the first time I've taught an unseasoned whelp the meaning of betrayal. <laughs> and it shall be the last! <laughs> I can't believe it. Arrest him! Lanzo? Why? A job well done. It is unfortunate that their leader escaped, but I very much doubt the coral snakes will be using this hideout again. We'll interrogate the lad and see what he knows. Mayhap he can tell us all of the leader's whereabouts. The coral snakes are still an enigma. Mayhap the what business have you here? Does that make you... the Arisen? Be at ease. I bear you no ill will. My name is Manella, and I have the honor of serving as a go-between twixt Her Majesty and the Gar. Come, let me buy you a drink. We've much to discuss, and I don't fancy standing round all the while. This might contain useful information. Peruse. Say, have you heard? They finally caught the fiend behind those ox cart raids. Aye, they caught someone. But word is, he's just at Captain Benjamin's all bent up over it. Tell is, he's still interrogating the lad, trying to get all he can out of him about the Coral Snake's operations. Wants to make a clean job of it, like. Well, here's hoping it puts those snakes to rout for the welfare of this city and our stomachs. The people of Batal view pawns with great prejudice. They're even forbidden from setting foot in the capital. Her Majesty, Empress Nadinya, has long been troubled by this custom, but a practice so ancient isn't easily overturned. Many are unhappy about the existence of this tavern. 
even though it lies outside the capital, simply because it was established as a place for pawns to gather. I know not what manner of person you are, but if you would aid me in my efforts to make the people of Batal more accepting of pawns, I would be glad to offer you a residence permit. Tis a bargain more than fair, for those who hold such permits may remain in back Batal without having their activities questioned. What say you? Glad I am to hear it. Take this, then. Simply show it to one of the sentries, and you'll be granted entry to the capital. Oh, and if you encounter any troubled Batali along the way, I bid you assist them. They are harsh in their persecution of the pawns, but were they to be aided by the targets of their ire, mayhap a few stubborn heart, a simple plan I know, but is the only one available, or so it seems to me. All knowledge of this, God's way, stems from the forbidden magic research laboratory, which can be found here in Batal. However, you would do well to first travel to the Alta Batal coast and seek a man named Ambrosius. For as a researcher of this laboratory, he will doubtless be able to answer many of your questions. What's your problem? Walking about with pawns in tow, I mislike that. You from Vermont? <laughs> Bet you're as prejudiced as the rest of your lot. Well, got something you want us to save it. You're not welcome here. Suppose you didn't know, but we don't allow Vermundian scum in this tavern. But I've got a heart of gold, me. I'll give you a... All you've got to do is prove your metal against these sods alone. That is. If you're bested, then we'll take all you've got. It's only fair, ain't it? Well now, quite the brawl we're having here. But I must say, these odds are rather craven. Did you leave your honor at the door? And who are you supposed to be? You a friend of this one? Nay, I'm a sellsword. Coin is my only ally. It is not my conscience that called me here. No, no. I simply cannot stomach acts of cowardice. Is there even one among you with the grit for a proper duel, one on one? What'd be in it for us, eh? The fact that I'd refrain from breaking your jaw. Hmm, that's not quite the reaction I was hoping for. Mayhap you know not my face. How about my name then? Ragnar. Ragnar? You're him. From the Scarlet Reigns and the battle for Jeremiah? Well, tis clear you're a man best not, but I trust you'll have no complaints so long as there's only one of us. Oi, bring it out! I don't believe it. You're a bloody menace, you are. Come on, you lot. We're leaving. <sighs> Fine work, that was. Pray, save your thanks. I've no need of it. After all, judging by the skill with which you won that duel just now, I dare say you'd have bested those louts even if I hadn't intervened. I suppose that coward knew he was no match for you in a fair fight, so he had that beast take the beating for him. At any rate, tis safe to say you've piqued my interest. I hope our paths cross again someday. Of course, I can't promise I'll be as amicable then. As a sellsword, it's my policy to let my employer decide friend from foe. I'm sure you understand. Till next time. If tis a blacksmith you need... Oh ho! Tis a regalia sword you want restored, is it? That's a first. <laughs> All right, give us a look then. Hmm. Now here's a masterwork of craftsmanship if I e'er saw one. Not to blow my own horn, but uh, <laughs> I wager I'm the only blacksmith who could set this ailing steel to rights. But, as I've said, I've lain down my tools, and before you start begging, know that I don't intend to pick them back up.
Well? Why are you still standing there? Leave an old man in peace. That went rather poorly, I fear. Still here. My smithing days are done. I'll not be repairing that saw. Beg pardon, sir, but uh, I couldn't help overhearing your conversation with Brocker. You'll have to forgive him. He's been in a foul mood eh, since we got cut off from the fuel for our forge. Though, he's always been a bit crotchety, come to think of it. Enough cheek, you wool-brained wastrel! Now, I'm off to the tavern. Can I count on you to mind things here? Of course you can. You go enjoy yourself. Psst. Hang about, eh? When he's gone, you and I can talk. A special made to use glimmer coal, mined from a nearby cavern. Till the monster's settled in, that is. Listen, Brock is too proud to ask for help, but I'm not. Would you be willing to go out to the cavern and mine us up some glimmer coal? I'll take as much as you can carry. Should you succeed, I reckon he'll change his mind about restoring that blade of yours. Now, true to its name, glimmer coal emits a pale light. So you'll want to cast your eyes about for any glowing spots when you get to the cavern. Oh, suppose you'll be needing the name of the place. <laughs> Digger's Ruins, tis called. I'll count on you to bring lots. Well met, Sir Arisen. Let us dispense with pleasantries and cut to the heart of the matter. I have a task that requires someone of your skill and discretion. Some days ago, a fiend attacked Empress Nadinya during her supplications. Her Majesty was unharmed, but the would-be assassin fled, gifting me a wounded arm in the process. He may seek to strike again. Yet I fear I am not fit to guard the Empress as I am. And so I turn to you, Sir Arisen. Will you keep my deepest thank? Her Majesty will next begin her supplications in Flamebearer Palace. I would use this opportunity to lure her assassin from the shadows. Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, Sir Arisen. I trust you understand the gravity of this task. Mm. And who might? Sir Arisen. Sir Armhild. Tis my pleasure to present to you the good Arisen. Come to aid us in apprehending the brigand who would threaten her- Well met. Your assistance is most welcome. Without our Empress to guide us, Batal has no future. Indeed. We are well glad of your heir Her Majesty's supplications begin. I shall give you a description of our target. We would, however, prefer that this affair be kept quiet. Empress Nadinia shall commence her prayers any moment now. I would ask that you safeguard her with your life. O oh, Lambent Flame, we offer thee these words of prayer on behalf of our people. How can I get this color to come out brighter? Hmm, what do ye want? Hmm. Who are ye supposed to be? Fie! Are they on to me? Ah, oh, shut it! Apprehend him at once! That man there is the assassin! Nicely done, Sir Arisen. Let us inform Sir Ermhild of what has transpired. Oh, your majesty. Full glad am I to see you unharmed. The brigand has been captured. The chaos of the past few days ought to be behind us now. We owe this outcome to you, Sir Arisen. You cannot know the depth of my gratitude. Ah, yes, of course. Batal is in your debt, Sir Arisen. The same is true of you, Sir Manella. Your efforts were most admirable, considering your wound. Now that a measure of peace is returned to us, however, you ought to devote yourself to convalescence for a time. 
You may. The curative hot springs on Volcanic Island are said to be wondrous for healing. Go there to recuperate. Very well, my lady. I shall leave presently, and return when I am fully recovered. Grateful are we for your most valiant efforts, Sir Arisen. I knew you would come, Arisen One. You seek answers, and you shall have them, if tis within my power to know them. Loath as I am to admit it, I know little of the artifact of which you speak, though I shall tell you what I can. I sense a land soaked in warmth, a warmth akin to your own arisen, to that of the power of the life you possess. Yet it now lies many fathoms below the surface of the sea, in a place unreachable by mortal hands. Though it is strange, for I sense also that this warmth grows ere near. Twould seem a path will be open to you in time, allowing you to venture into the heart of this warmth, so like your own. Perhaps he who was Dragonforged can tell you more. Seek him out in Harv Village, if you would learn from him. You want? I'm in no mood to have my ear talked off, thank you. My back's a fire. I can scarce talk for the pain. Leave an old man be. Mind, I wouldn't say no to some wild flowers if you happen to have any with you. A handful of those and I could prepare a poultice that'd help. What is it now? Unless you brought me some wild flowers, I prefer to be left alone. Well, that was most kind of you. Right, here goes naught. Ah, that did the trick. Relief at last. I was beginning to fear that I'd be stuck here for the rest of my days. I've a mind to thank you, sir. Would you look in on me at my home? I live nearby. There aren't too many houses out here, so you'll find it soon enough, I expect. I Beg pardon, sir, but... Forgive me, dear. I forgot to tell you. I asked this good sir to look in on me. Oh, not this again. How many times have I begged you not to bring strangers into our home? I know, dear, but this one's a kindly sort. Brought me the wildflowers I needed to make it home when I threw out my back. It is always one reason or another, isn't it? And has it e'er ended well for us? Not one. Mark my words, no one wanders this far out unless they are running from... This one's different, I promise you. You've heard tell of the Arisen, have you not? The hero who travels far and wide to track and fell the dragon. Oh? So this stranger claims to be the Arisen? <laughs> Believe what you will, but expect no hospitality from me. You will have to forgive my wife. She has her reasons for being mistrusting, but you deserved a warmer welcome than that. Now let me fetch your reward. Wait. Ah, oh, I'll take that. We might find a use for it. Fie! My back! I've done it in again! Goat Stuffer, when will you learn to be more gentle with yourself? Oh, hold her tongue! All the gentleness in the world won't stop the hurt from coming on when twill. It's only gotten worse of late. There's naught for it but to make for the curative spring. In your state, you'll never reach it. And that's to say nothing of the monsters that haunt the roads out there. They'll be on you in a moment if they see you limping along on your own. Oh, would that I could take you to the spring myself, but alas, I... Don't even think on it, my dear. I'd not ask that of you, knowing how crowded places of that ilk make you... But what are we to do? I fear for you, my love. The hot spring over... Fear not. You'll have your reward. I just... you'd be willing to... A... You see, my dear, what did I tell you? The Arisen's a goodly sort. 
I have an eye for people. Oh, don't be a fool, Gaustaffa. You have barely spoken to this person. What if you were being deceived? Did you think of that? Come. Surely there are far more clever lies to tell if one's intent is to swindle. I'm not sure I can afford to refuse aid so freely given. So be it then. Tis plain your mind's made up. We'd uh, best be along. Pray see my husband safely to the encampment. I shall await your return. Thing, Sir Arisen. Have you the injury I sustained in Her Majesty's defense is healing steadily? Yet twill be so, though I am grateful for this opportunity to convalesce, I grow restless. As there is a matter, I wish to know the identity of the villain. The rogue you captured has been questioned at length, but last I heard has yet to re... So, the brigand claims to have been employed by the Coral Snakes. Interesting. Whoever is truly behind this has covered their tracks well. But if Her Majesty is to be protected, we must flush the betrayer out at all costs. Might I beg a moment of your time? What I'm about to reveal is known only to a select few in all Batar. I trust you will be during his interrogation. The brigand let slip that another assassin would be in the name of caution. Her Majesty has taken up residence in a location known only to me. There she will remain till the danger has passed. With Her Majesty safe, and the knowledge of the Coral Snake's involvement under our belt. It is time for us to make our move. Yes, Sir Arisen. I mean to draw the villain who set this scheme in motion out of the shadows in which they lurk. My plan is thus. You will inform the Coral Snakes of the Empress's location. A false one, of course. Tell them that you have her in your custody, and that if they wish to confirm her identity, they must come to the empty abode south along Flamebearer Palace Road. Tis my hope that this will lure the mastermind to the fall. For you. At last, I've ne'er seen a more welcome sight. The spring here has been visited since time to for its curative properties. I only hope to be able to ease the aching. I'll go have my soap now, if tis all the same to you. Can't have clear... It would seem I owe you a debt of gratitude and an apology. True to your word, you have seen my husband safely to the spring. I was so afeared for his well-being, I couldn't bring myself to sit at home, waiting, wondering. So I followed you at a distance, though now I see I needn't have. My husband and I are met with persecution everywhere we turn, you see. More than one village we thought to call home has driven us away. That is why we live in so far flung a place. Gaustaffa can bear the judgment well enough, but I cannot. You, at least, have proven deserving of our trust. My husband was right about you. You are a kind soul, indeed. I shall not soon forget this good turn you've done my husband and I. You are welcome to visit us again, if your travels should happen to take you as far as our abode. I would fain lend you my skills as magic archer maester. And I'm certain my husband would be only too glad to take up his blacksmith's hammer for your sake. Puh! That's like to make me sick, it is. Still, there's not a swig of newt liquor can't fix, I always say. Boy there, come at a fine time, yeah. Care for a rotten egg? It was soft boiled right here in the hot spring. It is mostly sand. Won't kill you, my lord. Huh. Bought me some newt liquor. <laughs> Many thanks. Mm. There's naught finer than a gulp of newt liquor. After a hot bath, it is bliss, pure and simple. But I'll need me a nibble to go with my dandy hatch. I suppose you deserve aught for your trouble. Here you are, cuz. A soft boiled egg. Well now, if it, have you come for a dip in the hot spring? Or may have <laughs> brilliant. That's kind of you. 
I was just craving some more of this. Suppose I could oblige a fellow arisen. What? Hadn't you noticed? It's a bit embarrassing, eh? I'm a former arisen. Mine, one who couldn't fell his dragon. And if there's aught more shameful than that, I've yet to hear of it. In my case, it all came down to a lack of skill. Mayhap I could fell such a beast now, but my dragon's long gone. Brings a tear to your eye, don't it? But don't cry for me, cuz. Just know that you've got my full support. I'll be glad to see ye succeed where I once failed. Only, don't do it for me. Do it for yourself. Bring your dragon low, and taste glory eternal. I've just remembered. I've got something for you, cuz. Here you are. Reckon you... Might I implore you to play the part of a bandit, Sir Arisen? As one of Her Majesty's champions, my face is like as not to be known to our villain. I have also employed the aid of a woman resembling Her Majesty in stature and build. She will fulfill the role of Empress during the exchange. No, Manella. We must go ourselves. Your Majesty, I don't think... Should the ruse be discovered too soon, the renegade may flee and escape justice. We must confront them, so that our land and its people may ne'er endure such uncertainty again. Understood. Then I shall guard your majesty with my life. We must needs be ready for whate'er comes, Sir Arisen. It seems you are called upon to act alone. I suspect the villain will approach on- I am glad to hear it, and not a moment too soon. We have refined a way to loosen the villain's tongue. I shall remain hidden till the op- I am come. Would you kindly open- Let us not waste time. I am here to confirm the identity of your captive and not- Materials, eh? I shan't deny they have their uses. Indeed. It is the Empress and none other, fortunately for you. Had it been any, it is by the Coral Snakes' failure that she yet lives. I trust you are prepared to rectify this mistake. Go on, kill her. That is far enough. You must forgive me. I suspected foul dealings from the moment I heard the Empress was being held here. However, with this display you have earned my trust. In truth, she cannot die here. We must have her meet her, and in a place more fitting. Tell me, do you know what it takes to inspire action in this world? Tragedy. Yes, tragedy. The emotion that floods forth in the wake of such events can change the world entire. Consider what a tragedy of singular measure, such as that of a great leader martyred for her ideals could achieve. Why? The flames of revolution would burn eternal. A worthy funeral pyre for an empress, wouldn't you agree? And so Her Majesty's tragedy must be made a spectacle of, that all Batal might bear witness and shed tears of blood. So this was your aim. It all becomes clear. On your knees, we have you surrounded. Sir Armhild! So it was you! Manella, this little ruse was your doing, I suppose. And as for your majesty, I must say I am disappointed. You would go so far to save your own neck, rather than do what is best for the future of this country. We understand what you desired to achieve. Yet we also believe that no ideal can truly be born from bloodshed. Perhaps you will ponder this in your solitude. By our authority as Empress, we hereby place you under arrest. Sir Ermhild's was a vile plot. I only hope she is the last villain seeking to advance her aims through murder. We pity Ermhild, but her ideals are not our own. I shall escort Sir Ermhild to her cell. I... That fool understands naught. 
Does she think she... Roses, but... Hail Arisen. Allow me to join you in this trial. Sit in your eyes. You are ready to learn, and so I shall teach you a technique. Use it well. The creature is slain. Yet, however many I call, the emptiness refuses to fill. For these beasts are but crude imitations of the dragon true. Sigurd, you're the current arisen, aren't you? Tis a style, all a patchwork of techniques, honed for the sole purpose of slaying the dragon. That's plenty. Many thanks. Brocker! We've got more glimmer coal. Now we can reignite the forge. It isn't the forge what needs igniting, girl, but your fool ears. I've told you my smithing days ended when those monsters moved in. I've no use for glimmer coal any- I'll not hear another word about that rusted hunk of steel. If you're so keen to have it repaired, then see to it yourself. Now oh, leave me be. My mattress beckons. Oh, I was certain he'd pick up his tools again if we only had more glimmer coal. My apologies for putting you to all that trouble, sir, but mayhap your efforts needn't go to waste. I could try my hand at repairing that sword for you, if you'd be agreeable. Way I see it, if old Brock is the only smith with the skill to see it done, then I'm your best hope, being as I'm his apprentice and all. Well, what say you? I'm grateful for your trust, sir. You'll... Um, mayhap not soon as twere. But I'll see it done all the same. Mark me. This blade will be shining like a star by the time I'm finished with it. If me, but I've made nary a lick of progress toward restoring that sword of yours. The blade's make is as intricate as tis beautiful. Suppose that's why these things ne'er see battle, eh? If I only knew how to create this pattern on the... What are you jabbering about now? Oh, um... Uh, you're looking at the work of a blaze hammer. Tis a process scarce employed, but one befitting the prestige of a regalia sword. Honestly, girl, you're no apprentice of mine if you can't figure out aught as simple as that. Sorry, Brocker. Must have slipped my mind. But if these patterns were the work of a blaze hammer, if you've not heard the term, tis where you heat your hammer to extreme temperatures by dipping it in magma. Tis hardly air used since the hammers like to cool afore you can forge aught with it. Brock has explained the process to me, but I wonder if that's enough. Never have I encountered such a strategy. Truly? Give me a check. Give 
get a bug. Okay, so there's something I found. I want you to get out of here. This is my first time talking to such a mountain. I expect my own loss if I get to even discover it. If it isn't the arisen, come to check up on me, have ya? Well, I'm faring just fine. In fact, I've done it! See? Tis a blaze hammer! All that's left is to get this to the forge outside the cave. I hope you're ready, Arisen, as there's not a moment to... The printers of mine with a gumption to do aught like this. You got the blaze hammer work done, and you did it right. But the hardest part's what comes next. I'll walk you through what's needed. Though I dare say, it is one of the few lessons I've left to teach you. You've proven yourself this day, Sarah. You're the one fit to carry on my techniques and this smithy. But not if you're gonna stand there and gawk. To the forge with you, girl! Uh, come in, Rucker. Hi, Arisen. I've been waiting for you. Here it is. Your regalia sword. Looks newly forged, doesn't it, eh? Rocker had me working on it for hours. Got nary a wink of sleep. But owing to that, he thinks it turned out real fine. I only hope you're pleased with it. Tis as much your success as mine. So much has changed for me since you first brought that sword to the smithy. I feel as if I'm finally on the path to becoming a blacksmith in my own right. Thank you, sir, for all you've done on my behalf. Who are you? Uh, no, never mind. Tis of little import. I'm searching for blue crystal shards. Find any, and I'll pay you handsomely. The bigger they are, the higher your reward will be.
shards. Is that all? Tiny fragments such as these aren't nearly good enough. Still, I expect I'll find a use for them here. Take... Tis a god's sway. Well, to be precise, the crystalline substance from which tis made. By refining such crystals, anyone can attain the power of the Arisen. The power to command pawns. However, small fragments are meaningless. They cannot contend with the Arisen's power, you see. Speaking of which, should you find any large fragments, bring them to me, won't you? Though that might be difficult. We've scoured this area quite thoroughly, I should think. Tis possible larger shards may have been mistaken for jewels and carried off by scavengers or collectors or... Mayhap one such as the Oracle or the Dragonforged would be able to aid you in locate... Yet it's fake Godsway. However, it appeared his intent was to alter the will. Then go. Since times of eld, remember. Dracon, then I bid ye farewell. About, or so I'd like to say, but it's getting rather late. Best spend the night. We can talk again come morning. Ah, good. You're awake. Look to the sea, my friend. Hard to resist setting out in one's boat with fair skies like these, eh? <laughs> now, I've told you about the sunken temple in the middle of the sea, haven't I? I, I'm quite sure I mentioned it. But I ne'er spoke of the man who resides there. He was such a worthy ruler in life that his armies safeguard him even in death. As he himself would have it. He was once entrusted with the task of watching over this world from the heavens above. Yet he tired of his duty, and abandoned his perch in the sky in favor of founding a small kingdom on the ground. Alas, though he was a just and goodly ruler, there is not a single person alive who remembers his name. Ooh, it sounds unfortunate, but if you ask me, it is all a matter of perspective. It can be a blessing to forget, and to be forgotten. I should know. In all my long years, I've never forgotten a single thing. I remember everything, every little detail. Would that I could forget some of it. <laughs> a lie it may seem, but a lie it is not. I speak only the truth, as you well know. Come see me again if it pleases you. <laughs> I've tales aplenty to share. Heavens, Fend. I'd ne'er seen the like. I'd not known there were ruins in the depths of this cavern till the path appeared. Twas magic, methinks. I should have liked to investigate if the place hadn't been crawling with monsters. I'll be needing sturdier arms than these afore I head back in there, I fear. At any rate, I'd best report this discovery to my commander. I only pray Nort Grave shall come of it. So. Another comes seeking to inter me. Yet your wicked schemes will avail you not, watching one. Time and again have you sent unto me your minions. Yet repel them I have, and so I shall anew, till I might claim the true world as mine own. Why do you not draw your blade? This battle shall be o'er before it has even begun. You seek not my death. Hmm. Then you are not of the Watching One. I am Rothas, founder of the Kingdom of Vermond. And you appear to be a reason. Tell me your reason for coming here. God's way. Hmm. Speak you of those trinkets conjured by the wizards of Eam from these depths. 
I have beheld the Batali scuttling about. A baleful, maddening act to transmute the fractured souls of Arisen into such frivolous baubles. I, that which you seek is a soul much like your own. Yet rarely will you find one intact, for splinters are all the remain of those pitiful arisen, who were bade come here by the Watching One to end me. The flesh may rot, the soul fragment, yet power, power endures. And it would seem the Batali seek to augment this power through their perverted arts. Yet tis folly, the frolicking of children. Such a trinket could ne'er hope to fell the dragon, let alone the watching one. I know little of your intent, but I sense in you I shall grant you this blade. It, too, is the soul of an arisen. Mine own, in fact. Refined in purest dragon blood. Alas, the ages have taken their toll. Tis as withered as mine own flesh. Yet, mayhap, the Batali's profane magics would be capable of drawing forth its late potency. If that is what you seek, arisen, then go on to their stronghold. I believe tis there you shall find the means to achieve it. This is all wrong. What use are pitiful fragments such as these? What we have achieved is sufficient to sway the pawns. But when the time comes to fell the dragon, I fear it may not be enough. Lord Phasus insists we shall succeed, and yet... Ah, a new hand, are you? Have you some business with me? Why? Tis an Arisen's. This... This is incredible. But why do you possess such a thing? Where did you obtain it? No. Never mind. Tis of no... Co All that matters is this. With this alone, I shall be able to craft a soup. I must make haste that I might deliver it to Lord Faces, but wait. No. I have not the worm's life crystals to restore it. Concern it all! <laughs> oh, don't be ridiculous. Do you even understand what you are offering? Worm's life crystal. But I suppose Lord Phasus is satisfied with the God's way as tis, you see. And as I can expect no support from him, you can expect little aid from me. Though I suppose twouldn't do to send you away entirely empty-handed. Now. As I've said, Worm's Life Crystal's all the better if it happens to be a lesser dragon. Oh, it is finished. The result is even more sublime than I'd hoped. <laughs> I must deliver it to Lord Phasus at once. Though, mayhap. No, I cannot leave this in your hands. I may not be fleet of foot, but only I can do this. <laughs> Wait, I... I've changed my mind. 
You take it. Deliver the blade to Lord Faces. You won't reach him in time. Go now. Make haste for Moonglint Tower. There your journey will come to an end. One way or another. Retreat soon. I fear we are all lost. We all press on, my lord. Mind not the stone puppets, then. We move. It arose from the sea. What could have summoned it? It would seem the stone puppet has stopped. Have the wounded been tended to? Yes, my lord. Good. I trust you are prepared, Sovereign of Vermont. Will, will it really be all right? I, I'm not about to be charred, am I? Fear not. You are in no danger. The dragon shall be under my control when it appears. Come, let us press onward. For if we. Watch as this world's hollow and fruitless order is remade by my hand. The ritual is complete. The dragon comes. Behold! The Royce Dragon! 
By my power, the dogma of dragons is unmade. You could ne'er understand a risen world. We must all be freed from the vulgar order wherein the dragon's existence determines all. Hast thou summoned the resolution to face me? Then answer me this. Why dost thou fight? Is it to reclaim thy flesh, thy stolen heart? Or is it to reclaim thy throne? I offer thee a choice. Grant unto me this life in my claws, and be gone from this place. Or stand and fight. Pitiable arisen. The time for thou to make thy choice is come. Show me the path thou wouldst walk. Go, and thou shalt live to claim thy coveted throne. Fight and thy life is forfeit. Thou wilt face the dragon's dogma. The decision is thine to make. Wilt thou prove thy subservience and face me? Or wilt thou instead seek glorious escape? Cycle, not 
would be born into its safe chaos. Great and terrible. Surviving in such a world would be no simple matter. upon us. We must decide a victor, and in so doing, form a link in the chain that bind at this wheel. Tell me, Arisen, what is thy desire?
Why do you need to sue me, Arisa? You have fulfilled your charge, and you're not satisfied. Seek you greater status. Perhaps to rule the world in time. Desire, you need merely spy out the path. The choice is thine, Arisen. By thy will alone can the course of the winds of fate be altered. You would still resist your fate. Understand you the folly of such a decision. Even the beating of your reclaimed heart was born of the great will of this world. Yet you would abandon it. Everything in this world all that you have come to know as reality is the creation of the Great Will. Should that will be lost, no mortal being can survive. However, if regret yet assails your spirit, then perhaps you should reaffirm your choice. Witness with your own eyes, or through the eyes of another, the fate of this world. Thou wishest to dismantle the world's will, just as I do. Yes, dost thou know what awaiteth the world, should it meet such a fate? Would become a fleeting, fragile, vacuous thing, bereft of the cycle. Lord would be born into its same chaos, great and terrible. Turn back. Leave now, while you can. You have strayed and risen. And for what? Lest you forget. You have a world where you belong. There, you are to fell the great evil in your path and rule the people as their sovereign. For that is who you are. 
and it is my wish that you should live out that life of purpose. The time has come for you to return. Go. My children shall see you there safely. Let us go home, together. To a world under your rightful rule. To a world all your own. This is your will. Then behold, a world unmerciful, bereft of the benevolent hands of God. This is your world, the world to which you longed to return. Alas, if only you had chosen to become sovereign. At the end of your travails, you could have ruled over these lands in perpetual peace. Yet that world of limitless possibilities has ended. You stand now upon its remains, the vestiges of a world that could have been so much more. Innumerable wills have served to deliver this world from extinction time and time again. You alone have refused to carry out that great purpose. What you see before you is the consequence of your apathy. Behold. In the blink of an eye, the sickle of oblivion will reap aught that you have known. I would advise you not to waste these last moments. Explore the remnants of this world while you can. Perhaps in doing so, you shall come to see the truth and know the wretchedness of the world unworthy of being chronicled. How shall you fare, I wonder? Will you endure in this world, abandoned? and unprotected.
arisen. You yet live. I suspected as much, given that your pawn still remains. One might hypothesize that your pawn is sustained by your vital essence. Or perhaps something more. In any case, we ought to apprise one another of the situation. Is there aught you would know? Ah, yes. I trust it has not escaped your notice that the end of days is upon us. After you vanished, together with the Red Dragon, the seas rose to swallow the skies. Twas perhaps a month from that evil day when a new calamity befell us. A host of dragons descended from the skies and fell upon the land with fang and claw. Luz the Oracle called upon me ere you arrived. As she tells it, Melv and its environs have already fallen prey to the beasts. Tis surely only a matter of time before the rest of the kingdom follows suit. I found the poor creature collapsed by the wayside near Batal. Recognizing your pawn, I decided to take the ailing thing into my custody. I thought it possible that the Arisen's pawn might hold the key to making sense of all this madness. Alas, try what I might. Your pawn will not wake. Mayhap you will succeed where I could not. The pawn is, after all, yours to command. Indeed, then I shall take my turn. In your absence, I had hoped your pawn might yield me some information. But as you have returned, I would hear the truth from your lips. Tell me, Arisen, what became of you this past month? So, following your plunge into the sea on the dragon's back, some mysterious presence reached out to you. Could that have been the world forged? Yet why would such a being linger in those fathomless depths? I can only speculate. And speculate I shall. This ought to prove a fruitful avenue of investigation. For that I thank you. Now, if you can find a way to end this interminable slumber, your pawn is, of course, free to rejoin you. Oh, Master! How long I've slept! Far too long, it seems. But worry not. Now that I am awake, I shall follow wherever you lead. Now that I think of it, I do seem to recall Lord Phasus lamenting that he be reduced to aiding you. But it matters not. Both he and I are too rushed off our feet to care for such trivialities. We seek to devise some means of forestalling these dragons' attacks from above, you see. If you've an interest in helping us fight this battle, perhaps you will join us on Volcanic Island. Tis all the same, either way. This world needs no arisen to save it. Such is Lord Phasus' creed and mine. No longer do I feel the probing gaze of the Watching One. Is this your doing, newest of the Arisen? I am he who brought the dragon low, and o'er its bones raised the proud kingdom of Vermin. Despite the magnitude of my feet, I was dissatisfied and sought ere greater heights, till at last I ruled the world entire. Thus did I come to know of the Watching One. The being by whose many eyes and ears no one or thing in this world. As to the purpose with which they watch, I know not. Yet I did divine one thing. This world has lain neath the Watching One's unwavering gaze ere the dawn of its history. I despaired at this discovery, for if all is but a stage, did that not render my hard-won glories, my throne astride the world, mere spectacles for the all-seeing eye to watch? I, twas, was all a farce, 
And I, the fool, exulting in my wooden crown. Do you understand, newest of the Arisen? This, alas, though I cut down all who seemed false, be they man or woman, human or beast, young or old, I did not succeed. Indeed, my efforts led only to my own ruin. I was dubbed the Mad Sovereign, and by the hand of a new arisen, consigned to this place forevermore. Yet, I can only assume that you have achieved what I could not. How else to explain the changes I sense in the world? Ah, oh, what bitter gall that I cannot witness the outcome for myself. Falter not, newest of the Arisen. For your path is just and fading spirit though I am. I may yet summon those who can be of aid to you. I see you have returned, Arisen One. The Mad Sovereign has called, and so we answer. If you would save the people of this world from ruin, lead them here, for this place may chance to escape the coming destruction. I imagine the people of this world will welcome the tidings that there is a place of refuge awaiting them. Since times of Elder, dragon blood has been used to refine all manner. I myself learned the art by deciphering ancient texts. Remember, draconic blood flows through the veins of lesser drakes as well. Bring me what ye reap, and I shall harness it to your benefit. Then I bid ye farewell, and safe travels. I do so enjoy stocking up on some- The Mad Sovereign's power yet girds this place. It could prove the last bastion of hope for the people of this world. Alas, it will not hold forever. The coming destruction can only truly be forestalled if tis sundered at its heart. Allowing it to forestall the end of 
this world time and time again. Yes, Larissa, this world has been safeguarded by the dragon. You yourself were chosen to form a part of this cycle. The Arisen is selected by the Great Mill to play the role of the dragon's great part. to unfold. Yet, it seems I will not be there to watch it.